Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's a nice sunny day. It's a Friday. I won't show you the sun unless Nicola... Uh, or the ducks. Or oh, the there ducks. Isn't any. No, they're all gone. Batty Brenda's coming, so we're yeah. cooking a meal. Batty so. Brenda, uh, my mum, my dad, my uncle, they're coming. Uh, they're they're staying in thinking. the Westwood. They're coming for a meal tonight. Nikki's kindly cooking them a meal in the co crock pot. Cock brock. <laughs> you better set it up now. In the crock pot. Slow cooker. Nick's um, obsessed with the slow cooker, right? Yeah. Yes, so if you saw on social media the other day, which we put this picture up, um, this was a beef and tomato stew which they saw and they want me to make before them tonight. Yeah. So it's now half past nine in the morning, nine o'clock. It's not going to be done until seven tonight, so I need to get this in quickly. Yeah, and I've got lots of ironing to do and, and chores today. So the so. ingredients for this recipe is in the list below. I'm not going to go through all the bits and bats. We're going to do this in super speed, but basically all is here in the description below. You slap it in the slow cooker and cook it on low for seven to eight hours. I'm turn it halfway. Way. I'm going to show you in a minute. I just wanted to say hello to our new patron, William. Hi, William. Hi, William. And um, we're filming this especially for you because you like our cooking videos. Yep, so you're going to love this. So hopefully you've got a, a slow cooker. Right, so I'm just going to do this simple. So we've got beef, onions, uh, flour, salt and pepper, garlic, the herbs that are in the list in Worcester sauce, two large carrots, two large potatoes, two strips of celery, thyme for the top, 350 mils of um, beef stock with two cubes in there, two nose cubes, a tin of tomato puree. You literally throw it in, turn it on and leave it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do for is how, how many hours? Well, about about eight hours, but last time it was cooked a little bit earlier and I slowed it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna chuck all the beef in because the only thing you've got to do with the beef is coat it with the flour. And obviously I don't want that blood that's accumulated in the bottom there. Mm. You literally get the flour, salt and pepper, sprinkle it, cover it. I'm gonna get my spoon. You mix this up. You don't even have to brown your beef. A lot of the people say that you've got to brown your beef when you do. Do you need to put any um, olive oil in there? Nope, nothing. It's not frying, remember? It's literally just to um, thicken it afterwards, but also it's also to flavour it as well. So there we go, so that's done. And now all you do now is you literally start dumping your ingredients in. Onions, what's that again? Garlic. garlic. Do you use lazy garlic? Oh, always. Herbs and spices. What's the sauce? 350 mils of um, concentrated, well, it's water and two North stock cubes. Pour that in. Literally now just start dumping the veg in. And it'll look like it's overflowing, and you probably think, oh my goodness, yeah, this is never going to re reduce, but it does. It, it does look like it's overflowing. You might actually. not be able to put all I might not be able to actually. Well, let me get some more tomatoes. I've well, I can't get any more in, simply. Right, so somehow you've got to stir this now. So let me just... It usually goes over the worktop. Maybe we need a bigger stock pot. Maybe. Maybe we just need to get used to using this one. We are cooking for extra people, so I've put extra veg yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the good thing with slow cooking is... The good thing Somewhere with today. slow cookers is that you can make a full batch and then just sort of save it in the fridge or freezer. It's actually good to keep in the slow cooker for a few days as well because you've got the lid yeah, on it sealed yeah. it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this tomato puree now. Now you might think it's a bit weird for tomato puree in a, in a stew. Oh, it's not. Trust me, it's not. But it's like a beef and tomato stew, isn't it? Yeah, it gives it the sweetness and um, it brings the flavour out, I think. And then later Nick will show you, um, we'll just add in some dumplings on top. Yeah, eight hours time when that's condensed down and that will be half the amount in there when it's finished. And some cheesy mash on the side. So I'm just going to try and put a little bit more of this veg in. Just stir it up again. As I said, in about an hour's time there'll be a lot of liquid that I can stir. churn and some of this will have boiled down, especially the meat, because there's obviously moisture in there. Um, a lot of the juice for the, the stew is actually in the vegetables, which will come out when it's cooking. So, oop, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. <laughs> So there we go. So I'm just gonna. So this is easily gonna um, feed six people. Oh, it'll, this'll feed eight people this easily. And then the last thing you do, you just slap a bunch of fresh thyme on top, like that. Put the lid on, turn it on low, go and do your business, and come back in eight hours. Well, come back in four. Yeah, we'll keep going back and showing you what it looks like. <clears throat> and that's it. And right, Lee, you can tidy up now. <sighs> I've just helped with the cooking. So, we've got one of those days today. Um, we've had fun all week. You'll have seen, you know, we went to Airbnb in New York, etc. Uh, went out with some friends yesterday. 
Uh, so today's a chore day. Nick's cooking and cleaning up. He's going to help uh, some friends with some internet problems they've got. And I've got a lovely pile of ironing. Enjoy that. Uh, you know, cooking. Uh, it's cracking on. Uh, uh, not chopping. So I'm off to get do this uh, cooking. No, 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 I'm not. I'm off to do this ironing. Right. It's about was it Nick, two to three hours later? Yeah. It's um, all the ironing is done. The sun has gone. It's been wazzing it down. And Nick is back from doing IT work. And it hasn't actually changed. So I've got to turn it on high. Maybe I put a bit too many veg in. But you had it on low. Yeah, I had it on low before. You have it on ten hours on low. Well, nine hours on low. Let's have a quick look. Nothing. Oh really no, changed. you can see there's a lot of juice now though. Yeah, maybe I should stir it now. Yeah, take those off. Well, you can see how they're getting black there. Hmm. That means that they're starting to cook. You can see the steam coming off. Yeah. But you don't eat them. They just flavour the um, the thing. So I'm going to stir it. Go Sorry. on then. Stir it. Stir it. Stir it. Stir it. And then we're off out for lunch. So we might take you with her and show it. With her? <laughs> You're still doing it? What's wrong with you? I need, I need food. I had a bite to eat today. We might oh, take you guys with us so you can see what um, we have for lunch. Oh yeah, it's definitely cooking. It's cooking, yeah, but it's got to... I don't do it. <laughs> it's just going to pile over edge. Just needs a bit of a rotation. I mean, it's still got hours and hours. I mean, I put it on high now, so... Oh, look at that juice yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. coming out of the veg, and that's going to form the, the bulk of the sauce. Yeah, so I'd, I'd put it back on low, I think. I think high might be a bit much. Mm, I'll put it on high for an hour, because I want to get the liquid above the where the veg is, and then I'll turn it down. Oh my god, it smells nice. You smell it? Yeah. So this is our lunch. Well, no, it's not. It's our evening our meal. Evening meal with oh, the family. God, that's with Batty amazing. B. Have we got enough um, gin in for her when she comes? She can't drink me dry. <laughs> right, let's go for some lunch because I'm really marvin. It's about, um, it's 12.18 and I've not had a bite to eat or anything to drink today. So I'm a bit hungry. So let's go. Come on you fat get. So it's raining but the sun's out. So it's a bit of a um, mishmash day today. So we're going to just going to a local town and choose somewhere for lunch. That correct, Nick? Yeah, I picked two places, Lee's dismissed them, so I'm not deciding. No, you picked... So when you pick shit places, I can say to you, you, you chose it. You picked another place and I'm, I'm quite interested in that, as long as you can get parked outside, because it's still raining. So, is mum and dad are setting off shortly? Yeah. So we're going to go for lunch, have an hour uh, in the lounge reading and stuff before the festivities of tonight with Batty Bender. Batty Bender. And, and um, um, she's going to the wine, uh, no no, she's going to the gin club with us tomorrow. And to get her into the um, the uh, mood for gin, we're actually going to do a bit of a gin taste test video with her this afternoon. Okay. So see if you um, can see if she, see if she can um, see what flavours are what. Yes. And so I imagine it'll go something like this. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been for lunch and I completely forgot to vlog it. I was enjoying it that much. You said you didn't like it. <laughs> I still forgot to vlog it. Uh, well, I've been having the conversation about the cafe that we went to. Lee said it sounded like we were sat in somebody's living room or in somebody's caravan, and it we've never been there before. Smelled fatty and, and yes, Nick chose it, so it's Nick's fault. It just wasn't nice. It smelled a fat. Nice place though. Nice, quite big. Um, I had a tuna sandwich, and it was just like one of the. When you get a tuna sandwich from a, a cafe, you expect it to look nice and be a bit posh, but it looks like somebody had no, got, just got a tea a cake from bread bin, put a bit of butter on and put some tuna oh, on. That's exactly what they did. I, I know, what most places do. It, it felt like I'd gone around to somebody's caravan and asked for it. I mean, you didn't have any garnish on it, or and, salad to make it look nice. And also, I asked, I asked green tea, and it turned from a table half full. It was half a cup of tea, so I went and asked for it. No, you didn't. You told me to go and ask for your green tea, you lazy swine. So I said, bog off and go and ask yourself. Am I on here? Oh, no, because it's me who's talking, but you can keep interrupting as usual. So back to what I was saying. So I went and asked them to, to fill it up, and she looked at it, and she goes, what is it you want? I said, I want you to film a tea to the top, please. I'm like, oh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Slack as a bag of spanners. So we're not going back. What are we going back there? So. We won't name a check. No, 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 no. Uh, we're going back to the lounge for an hour, just to, uh, Nick's going to do some work. Nick's not. Oh. I'm going to have a proper cup of tea, filled to the top, and I'm going to read for a little bit. And, and then, um, what I'm reading at the minute, just in <laughs> case anybody is interested, um, is called the 
I think it's called the, you see, the, the five or the seven side effects of kindness. And it tells you all about how kindness. It's only on chapter one. Let you live longer. Um, it's good for your heart, it's good for your brain, good for relationships and things like that. Maybe Nick should read it next. Hey, I wrote the bloody thing. Yeah, right. Right, so anyway, we how had to really be, bad how to be a miserable rain. twunt. Nick's, Shush! Nick's book. Last night we had really bad torrential wind and rain and apparently the cliffs have corru corru collapsed and eroded again, the fence is dangling off. So when we've had a cup of tea, we may. We've got we won't, mate, we will. Still a bit breezy. I'm not going near cliffs when it's breezy. Well, it's not going to blow your hair all over, is it? We'll see. So, we're going to go and have a little stroll, because we haven't had any exercise today. And, um... Hey, I've been stood for two hours ironing. So your arms have been giving some exercise, but your legs haven't. Yeah. Right, let's go and get this cup of tea first. Right. See you in a bit. Come on. Excuse the quality of the video, because Nick forgot the camera Excuse in the car. Excuse me, you forgot it. You just told me that you forgot it while we were walking. So, I'm doing it on my phone, because... Yeah, there might be a lot of wind. I wanted to update you guys. I've not done this for a few months on the cliff erosion as we're walking around. So the last time you saw it, obviously, this fence was probably a little bit out. They've moved the fence back and now I've had to do this. Because we've had such bad rain and wind the um the road is finally starting to go well, he's poor caravan on, is he? yeah so we've just got this little bit to walk on now i expected the fence to be in the middle of the path by the middle of the year i didn't expect it this time. look at that that's insane one night. So, if you're a recent lodger and subscriber, if you go back to our videos from last year and you'll see we did some updates on these and the cliffs were right out there at some point. But, um, that's for old people. Right, seven hours later, and Nick's still not put his clothes away. Yeah, you're the behind. I am not putting your clothes away. Well, I'm not putting your teeth But um, we're going to have a uh, update on the beef stew. So, yeah, so seven hours. Come on, come on, come on. Out the way. Oh, that looks delicious. So it's seven hours since we put that on. Right, so I've took the herbs out. I did that when I came in and checked it earlier. But that looks absolutely delicious. Oh, listen to that sound. Bubbly, bubbly. Right, let's stir it. Now that has changed drastically and that looks, oh god, that looks divine. Can you actually hear that sound <laughs> on the camera? It's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that just sounds glorious! And the smell is very tomatoey. Although the sauce hasn't thickened up yet, but some of the potatoes in the last hour will actually collapse and make the sauce thicker. You could make one of those videos out of it. I think they're called like ASMR videos or something. What, just like stirring like sloppy foods? People just like listening to noises. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is almost ready. Let me just check the potatoes. Right, everybody's here. Hi. 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 So what we're doing now? Just clean the microwave. So are these dumplings ready? Yep. Yum. So these are just packet mix with, yeah. with a bit of water in because can't be bothered making them from. So this is completely done now. So that's now ready. Let's have a little drink. See you can that's ready for serving. Yeah. I'm just warming the cheesy mash and then we've got some parsley over there for garlic. And then I'll show you when it's all we are ready. Yeah. Right, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. Right, so the first one's done? Yeah. Please deliver it to our guests. Just put it put it over there for now. I've got so, beef and tomato stew with dumplings and cheesy mash. And this is Nick preparing one. So, cheesy mash. Stew, put a couple of dumplings in. Not just, yeah, just coat, coat them. Coat them. And then, literally, put them in the dish. Put some stew on top. Garnish with parsley. Next That's one, done. ready? So we'll come back in a while. So dinner is served. Oh, looks, looks, looks very nice. Is it very lemony? 
It smells very nice. <laughs> right, I'm turning the vlog off now because we're going to tuck in.